Hello, welcome everyone. I'm very excited. Today we're going to be playing Medieval Dynasty, which is my favorite game in the whole wide world. We're going to be starting a new adventure together. I think, oh, can we really put the length of season to one day? Let's play on two days, just because I think one's a little too short for me. We'll turn our building limit up to 150%. Not because I think I'll ever reach that, but it's nice to have the option. My poor little computer, I don't think it could handle it. Alright, let's see. We'll keep the food needs and the wood needs. We'll keep food spoilage on and all of this other lovely stuff. All right, let's start a new game, and I will let Rasmer take it from here. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories. I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. love that intro. I love the music. I love everything about this game. I am so excited to be doing this with all of you today. I am so, so excited. I hope that someday there is even more voice acting because let me tell you, I would love to watch an entire TV series that Rasimir, that follows his life, rather. Alright, looks like we're going to Gustopia, since our quest marker's pointing us that way. We'll gather some sticks, just a few sticks. Maybe some stones, if we can find some stones. And off we go, starting our new life. We've come to this, this valley in search of our uncle. Maybe our uncle's the Castellan that we are here to talk to. Ooh, look at all these stones. I love stones. I love gathering stones. <laughs> Alright, just that many. I don't know how many we can carry, so we'll start there. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous that lake down there. Oh my goodness. You just have to take it in for a second, you know? Look at all of that. There's another town over there, it looks like. Maybe that's Gustavia. It is. Alright. And down we go to find our uncle. Oh, I just cannot get over how beautiful this game is, and how beautiful that lake looks, and the fields of wheat and all the lovely villagers. Are one of those the people we have to talk to? Nope, that's Dobromira and Edwin, and Alwyn, 
Hello, Alan. Hello, Cats and Subrimer and and hello, Geeks and Dalibor and Otto and Frederick and oh, there's so many people here. I like this. It feels like it's actually a lived in town. Hello, little one, Olga. Hello, you. Oh, Unigost, you're not my uncle. Hey, stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. No, I am not. Rasmer is my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle Jordan. In his old home, they called him Jordan the Raftsman. Jordan? Ah, uh, yes, he told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why is that? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man and an even better friend, Rasmer. As a good craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. My monk, my mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of a ch huge trade with the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore, beautiful colored linen, and our excellent beer, pulled by ten oxen. He was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. So what happened? How did he die? His trek got ambushed by bandits. His carter slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight, took two of them to death. From what we saw when we searched him. I buried him myself, or better, with the wolves left behind. I am sorry to be the bearer of such news. My uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all the way here for nothing. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Jordan go to waste, and even if most villagers forgot fast what they owe your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am the Castellan, and my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land and as much as I want. As much as you put to good use, my boy. And as long as you can pay your taxes. Because of course there's taxes, there's always taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees to build your house. Reeds grow by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not very much. I don't think we have more than just a little bit. If necessary, you will find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here or in other villages. Maybe someone will pay for your help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home here? Surprised he kept that for so long, to be honest. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Alright, so we've got the tab menu. Alright, lots of stuff there. Our construction wheel with Q. And inspector mode that you guys have seen me use just a few times. Alright, oh, and it looks like there are some quests for us. Hello, Frederick. What can I help you with? 
can I help you with something? Hello, we need your help. Last night was a terrible storm that destroyed our house. Could you please help us gather resources and rebuild it? I will pay you with a great reward. Uh, sure. Sure, let's see what he needs. And, let's see, we'll use left all. Looks like there's someone with a quest this away. Let's go find them. We'll run that away. Hello? Someone with a quest? Oh, Alwyn. Hello, Alwyn. My name is Rasmer. Hi, I'm Alwyn. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I came here from the south. I am looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Well, good luck. <laughs> He's not very friendly, is he? Every day I cultivate fields. In fact, I do the same thing every day, year to year. Doesn't it bore you? If I were you, I would die of boredom. Of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in life over and over again? But the family needs my help, and I am doing my best. Did I offend you? Sorry. It's fine. On top of that, the handle of my damn scythe broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest crops. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> I think I know how to help you with this. I will be back soon. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. We need to deliver 15 sticks and 2 logs and just one stick. Oh, let's give Alwyn a stick while we're here. Alwyn, I have a stick for you. Here, use that as a new handle. Are you joking? How am I supposed to use it? Give me that scythe. I'll show you how to do it. Alright, you surprised me. Are you some kind of craftsman? How did you know to do it? I know how to create some simple things. We're learning something new every day, right? Maybe. I am a farmer like my father, and I don't know much else. That's very historically accurate. You never know when something will be handy in your life. Anyway, thanks for your help. I should get back to work. Sure, the rye won't cut itself. See you later. Yes, bye. I'm not sure Alwyn likes us very much, but we did as he asked. Now let's see here. Let's gather a few more sticks. I think, um, a few more. We needed, what, 15 for that man? Now we have 29, and I saw a stone. Let's build ourselves a stone axe, and we will start to cutting trees. Take that stone too. Alright, let's see, he needed two logs, right? So let's go cut down this beautiful maple tree. We will take this maple tree, and we will take its wonderful logs, and we will give it to that man whose house has been ruined. There it goes. Fantastic, alright. And two logs. Can we carry out four? It looks like we can. I think we might be- oh, there it is. Come with me, log. I must go give you to someone. Now where- where is he? There he is. Hello, Frederick. I'm not sure which house is yours, since I've seen you everywhere. Hydration is crucial in the wilderness. When your water parameter is depleted, you will start to lose health. You can refill it by drinking various beverages. Water can be stored and transported in buckets and the water skin. Alright, looks like we're thirsty. Alright, here you go, Frederick. Here are all the materials you wanted. Ooh, he's going to show us some building techniques for that. I wonder if we got anything for it. Not quite, but look at that. We haven't built a single thing and our building technology has already gone up. That's very nice. All right. Now we have to cut five trees and gather 20 straw and build our first home. And while we're down here, we should probably get some water, huh? Make sure we're not thirsty where we're going. There we go. Now where's the straw? 
I know it's here somewhere. Hello. We need young reeds to gather straw. We can't do it from the grown ones. Hmm. We will continue to run this way until I see them. Is this reeds? Ah, here we go. Took us a moment, but we found them. I think, if I remember correctly, I think we need 24 for our first home. So the 20 is a little misleading, but that's okay. There we go, 27. Just a little bit extra. And I've already chosen where we're going to be building our first home. It's a little bit close by, so not that far of a run. Off down to the other side of that hill, there are wolves there, which reminds me. Let me just craft ourselves a stone knife right now. That'll be incredibly useful. Must equip that. There we go. And let's see, we'll also need some broadleaf plantains. Oh, speaking of, there's normally more than one in a group. Here we are. We'll grab, let's see, ten of these? Or however many we can find. They're not easy to see when you first start out. I know that I didn't know what a broadleaf plantain was, so when I first started this game, I was looking for those small banana type things. <laughs> And that is not at all what they are. Hello, dear. We are not here for you right now, although you are gorgeous and very cute. They do not want to be our friend, but that's okay. And as soon as we are over the hill, you will see the place that we are going to build. Right down here, this is our home. Look at that. Lots of flat land, a beautiful stream, and a waterfall just up the way. Let's build our first home. And there's a maple tree over there. I think for convenience's sake, we'll build it right near this little batch of trees. So, let's see here. Where can we build it? I think right over there. So let's grab ourselves some logs. We'll need those for the foundation. But we'll leave the stumps since we don't have a shovel for them right now. Maybe if we're very lucky there will be one already over at the clay deposits. And how many logs does that make? Four? Four logs and I think we need eight. So, four more to go. Now we are at six, and seven, and eight. All right. Now we'll go to building, and our house. I think I want to be facing the stream here. Yes, that is a gorgeous view, I think. Now where is this hammer that my uncle has so kindly left me? We'll get a simple waddle house going. We'll need a lot of sticks for this. Let's go ahead and use all of our straw real quick, too. Not so bad. I wonder if our hammer will last us this long. Oh no! Oh, I counted wrong. We need just a little bit more straw. Alright, five more. Five more straw when we go back down to the riverbank. Get our axe back up. We will need plenty of logs for this and plenty of sticks. Gather those as well while we're here. Oh, look! We gained a new level in survival. Alright, we're going to be putting that into survival knowledge because it's always good to get more experience gained in the beginning of the game. 
that'll help us get it even faster. All right, got some more logs. I think we'll chop, I think all of these trees will likely need the logs. And all of these sticks are mine and yours. There we are. Oh, it's a maple tree. That'll be good. That'll give us lots of logs. The spruce trees only give us three, but the maple trees, those are the ones that give us four. So that'll be very good. Let's finish this up real quick. There we go. We'll put all of our sticks into here. Save us a little bit of carry weight. Oh, now I'm hungry. Eating is essential for survival. When the food parameter is depleted, you will start to lose health. All right, foraging, hunting, farming. Oh, <laughs> I kept going on my own there. Let's see what kind of food we've got. We've got plenty of apples, an oat roll, I think, you know, personally, I'm feeling some apples. So let's have some apples and dried meat. That's good for now. Just enough to top us up a little bit. All right, more sticks, more logs, but with any luck, we'll be able to complete our first house soon. Oh, and we need less sticks for this one. That's good. Alright. I think 11 or so more sticks. Which isn't a bad number at all. And then we just need more logs. And of course the small bit of straw that I unfortunately forgot. There we go. We'll get this taken care of. One, two, three, four. All right, three more logs. Oops, I pressed a button there. Three more logs, four more logs, four logs, four sticks. That's not bad at all. I think two more of these trees should do it. All right. Perfect. Now with those two trees falling down, we'll be able to almost finish our house. Grab that one over there. Whoops. There we go. are mine. Never hurts to have some extra logs lying around. Yay! Alright. Five more straw. Here's what we'll do. I am going to run my happy little butt all the way back down to Castovia. And I am going to pick us some reeds, and I'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. Here we are, just a moment later. And here we go, finishing our house. Ta-da! Oh, look, we unlocked the resource storage. We've got our double bed, a campfire. Let's light a fire in that. Very nice. We can cook a whole bunch of roasted goodies there. Which is good because- oh! Oh, goodness. Well, this is very exciting. Let's eat ourselves an oat roll and get ourselves some broadleaf plantains to top up. Now you are going to see the very silly, silly way that I fight animals. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm sure you have friends around here somewhere, too. Oh, that wasn't so bad. 
A little scary that he appeared right there, though. Goodness, I wasn't expecting to fight a wolf our first night. I'm sure we will meet even more broadleaf plantains now. Hopefully there are some lying around the ground. We'll top ourselves up real quick with the other ones that we managed to grab. You can see why we grabbed those when we did. Or else it would have been very unfortunate. Alright, let's go right here. We'll make ourselves a farm plot. With a wooden hoe. Real quick. See if we can't get ourselves something planted by the end of the season. We'll make a small field, maybe only five by five. Make it right here. <laughs> Let's see. This looks like a good place. Oh, you know, I'm sort of surprised that that worked, but I'm very happy. Now we'll till the land together. Then maybe we can craft enough coin to go buy ourselves some seed. And some fertilizer, of course. Oh, and we'll need to hunt something so we can make a bag. But that's okay. I know where some boars are. Just up the hill where we came from. That won't be so bad. I hear some deer. As long as it's not wolves, I think we'll be okay. Let's go to bed so that it's daytime. I know it's a little hard to see at night. There we go. Much better. And now you can see what I was doing. Alright. Getting our first little field done. Maybe we'll get some farming for this. Who knows? That would be pretty nice, too. Alright, easy. Already done. What is... what does it want from us? Set a rabbit trap and craft a single wooden spear. I think we can do that. We need four more sticks. We can grab those right here. Alright, let's craft that real quick. We'll set our rabbit trap right over here. There's some bushes, it's close to water. It'll be great. And then we'll give ourselves two wooden spears. Because why not? We're about to go hunting our first boar to get some leather. We'll grab some stones. Oh, and sticks. One of the best things to make at this point in the game, in day two, is some stone knives. Oh, and lovely broadleaf plantain, we love you. Thank you. Grab a few more of those. I wonder how much gold we started out with. Well, we have 50 now. I don't think we got any from the two little quests that we did. So that's okay. We've got ourselves some sticks and some stones. Stones are very easy to find once you know what you're looking for. You can always find them on the riverbank, but let's go ahead and craft some stone knives now. With any luck, we'll have the gold to buy a few seeds and some fertilizer. And maybe get something planted by the end of spring. If not, I'm sure we'll find something to plant in summer. These shorter seasons are a little bit more difficult when you don't know what you're doing. But that's okay. One more stone knife. I can see some more stones over there. Maybe we'll build a little bit more. How much can we carry? Just a little bit. We'll gather a few more sticks and some stones. There we go. Some of these stones you can't pick up, but that's okay. 
I think just two more stones ought to do it. <laughs> that was a stick, but that's okay. I guess we're getting four more stones, since they were all right here. My goodness, so many. And a few more sticks to go along with them. There we go. Nine stone knives isn't so bad. That's a decent little number for our first little bit of coin. And we'll see if we can't run into a boar on our way to Gustovia to sell all of this. I hope we do. I'd love to hunt one. And hopefully I don't miss too much with the spears. It's been quite a while since I used one. Let me equip those while I'm thinking about it. Oops, I'm just pressing all of the wrong buttons. That's okay. Alright, off we go. Slowly and carefully, because boars always travel in numbers in this game. Where are you, lovely pigs? There's a rabbit. Maybe we should have set our rabbit trap up here. There are many rabbits, but no boars. I wonder if they have decided to hide from me. <laughs> they saw that I have built spears, and now I know what to do. Well, that's a bit of a shame. We need their leather if we're going to be able to make anything. And deer. <laughs> The deer run far too fast for me and my two little wooden spears. We will find some boars before the day's end. Oh, I think that's Edwin right there. Hello, Edwin. I know you just met me, but I have some stone knives for you. Sell all of those. 185 gold. What else can we sell to you? We'll give you the fur, since we don't need that right now. I'm a little bit tempted to sell this oat roll now that we have meat, just to give us a little bit more gold. I think I'll do that. Now let's see, how much is fertilizer from you? 7.5, so that'd be about 70 gold for 10. And then, let's see, cabbage seeds are 12. Well, I think we can buy 10 of each. Let's go ahead and get ourselves 10 little cabbage seeds and 10 fertilizer. And then, do you happen to sell a simple little bag for us? It looks like he does, but it's a little bit too expensive, so we'll come right back after we find a few more stones, which I bet you will find going this way. It's a lot easier to find stones in winter, but if I remember correctly, there are quite a few around here. Yep, there's one. We need just a few more stone knives so that we can afford our simple bag since all of the boars are gone. There's another stone. We will find them, and it will not take very long. One more for us. Oh, two more for us. Let's see. Maybe if we go down near the water again. Yes, here's another one. And another, and another. Not so bad when you know where to look, see? Alright, let's see. Four more stone knives. And that should be, what, 20-ish more gold? I think that's enough to buy our bag. Just in case, I think I see a stone here, and here. So we will grab those stones and sticks on our way back up, and make what we can. It's very important to get gold here in the beginning. Here we go. Back up we go to grab some sticks and sell more stone knives. So close. These are the best little ones to get sticks from. 
I think I misclicked. That's okay. Let's craft the rest of these. And I think that's Edwin still. Lucky us, he's not disappeared or hiding anywhere. I think six or so stone knives is a very lovely trait. And look at that, we already unlocked the first workshop. And we're not even done with spring. Here you go, Edwin. Now please sell me a single simple bag. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Now watch, I'm sure that we will run into boars on our way back home. Where is our home? This way? Oh, what is that? Is there someone to speak to? Oh, we can talk to Alwyn again. We will do that. Or, let's do it now, while we're here. Alwyn, Alwyn. Where are you? I think you are here. Is that you up there? Check the map one more time. That is him. Alright, Alwyn, my grumpy friend. I am here to come see you. Hello. What's new, Alwyn? I'm tired of my mother's conflict with Jirag Miwa. <laughs> Her son Dalibor won't leave my little sister Olga alone. I understand it's just a game for him after all. When I was his age, I played with Dobromira, his older sister. I was a knight with a stick instead of a sword and I defended his honor. Like every knight does, of course. Anyway, you are a fool. I think he needs something to keep him busy and away from my sister so that you can have some peace too. It would be nice. Alright, look at that. Deliver to Dalibor a stick. Let's go do that. That's pretty simple. If everyone just wants sticks, we'll be golden. We've always got some sticks. Hello? You are being very noisy today, cows. Dalibor, are you in here? Hello? You're Dalibor, right? You look very strong for your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a knight? It's my dream. Are you a knight? No, but I know a lot about them. Have you heard that all of them start learning how to fight with a wooden sword already at your age? Where could I get such a sword, Mr. Not a Knight? It just so happens that I have one with me and I can give it to you because you are clearly worthy. I'm honored. It may look inconspicuous, but it is certainly an excellent practice weapon for an aspiring knight like you. And we give him a stick. It looks a bit like a regular stick. To surprise your opponents. And do you know what else knights do besides fighting battles? They ride horses. <laughs> this is well, but most of all, they protect the ladies and children from danger and make sure that no harm is done to them. Really? Sounds like a lot of work. Yes, this is the most important principle of chivalry. Alright, thank you for the sword, not a knight. Now I am going to defend the ladies and the children. You're welcome, young master, you're welcome. That's cute. Now he will become a knight and protect the ladies and the children of the village. And we will go tell Alwyn that Maybe his problem has been solved. I have good news, Alwyn. I solved your problem with Dalibor. Yes, I saw him running around the village with a stick. You must have an amazing gift of persuasion. This young one does not listen to anyone. You gave me the idea with that stick and knight story. I got this bread from Dobromira as an apology for her brother's behavior. But I think you've earned it. Here, take it. Thank you. No problem. Sometimes she gives me things from her mother's tavern. Are you too close? No. I don't know. <laughs> Alright then, see you soon, Alwyn. Poor Alwyn. Let's go plant these seeds before the summer's end. Or the spring's end. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Off we go. Maybe in the distance we will see a boar and we will get to hunt them before the 
springs and <laughs> oh I got stuck on a rock for a moment that's what I get for looking in the distance instead of at my own two feet oh look at that the rolling hills and the mountains and our little home down there so beautiful Maybe there won't be wolves standing right outside our home this time. And the gorgeous trees. All chopped down. They will grow back. In two years time. Grab our simple bag. Oh, and it's already set to fertilizer. Alright. Let's get this field fertilized with our little bit that we were able to buy. Thankfully at that. Two. One. Ta-da! We're thirsty and we've been working hard, so we'll take a short water break. And make sure not to get it in the seed bag. Now let us plant our cabbage seeds. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot a step. Now we have to plow the field now that it's been fertilized. Silly me. You'd think I farm enough in this game that I wouldn't forget that. That's okay. Oops. All right. A little bit of cabbage seeds. And these will look gorgeous in the summer. All nice and ready to be harvested. I do like the look of... Oh! We unlocked the barn. This has been an incredibly productive season. I feel like maybe I'd like to build the barn. Ah, there we go. A small little field of cabbages, all for us. And some more sticks and stones in our own little neck of the woods. Maybe we'll find some wolves if we go searching for them. Probably not the best idea, but oh! Well, there's a boar. Let's see. Let's hunt him. Hello, Mr. Boar. Let's see how good my aim is with these spears. Oh! My goodness. He's not quite dead yet. Can I, can I please have my spear back? <laughs> Mr. Boar. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. It only took two and a half spears. But we've killed our first boar. We've killed our first wolf. We've chopped some trees and built our first house. All in just a day's time. We have a little field and we've spoken to Alwyn and met Unigast. A shame that our uncle is past, but Oh well. Now, I will be right back. Because before I end this video, there is something I would like to show you from this same location. So, I'll be back in just a second. And here we are. In the same location, 13 years later. All of our houses are lovely and limestone. The village is full and lively. When you come down, you see just how much has happened in the last 12 years since we started in spring of year one. We've got copper and iron tools and plenty of fireplaces around. Our food overfills and is full and lovely, and our people want for nothing. 
we have clothing, and we even have beer. Our animals are happy, and our tavern is full. Our fields are plentiful, and you can see the barn that I so wanted to build. All of our orchards, and all of our wheat, all of our hops, and the beautiful trees that are around us, that have stayed. And just like I said they would, those trees up there grew back two years later. You can hear my horse, excited to say hello. Hello. She is getting old. We've had her since... I think year five or so. And we have bees. Everyone is here and everyone is happy. We have the sheep I spoke of. The only thing we don't have are goats. And where our house once used to be is now a successful blacksmithing shop with its own blacksmiths who work here and smelt us iron bars for our tools. That's Medieval Dynasty. It's my favorite game. It's the only game that I think I will continue to play for years and years and years. Even this save, I will continue to play for years and years. I hope you enjoyed today and I hope you were at least half as excited as I was. Goodbye, everyone, and I'll see you next time.